XOXO, Gothic Girl. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> Good morrow and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right, if you enjoy chaotic frenetic energy and being asked questions such as, what do we do with our loose change? It won't be answered, but it will be asked. Then I suggest you go ahead and subscribe. This is an interesting little spot, and today we have a long-awaited video by five of you. Ah, today, we are going to be going through my dragon horde, okay? So, starting somewhere around, like, March-ish, I started collecting all these things for my birthday, and if you enjoy videos of people just showing stuff that they bought over time, then I guess here's where you can be. A lot of the items will be linked in the description below if you would like to purchase them. They are affiliate links and if that makes you feel weird, I guess, you know, do you. Uh, but if it doesn't, I appreciate you shopping through them because it does put a little bit of extra money into my pocket so that I can bring you better content. All right, let's go on ahead and get started. <laughs> Let's go. This feels so awkward. So here we go. Uh, first up, this one, I don't know if you can still get it. I'm going to have to look and see. Uh, this is the Plain Jane palette. Like, if you didn't get this, like, I, I'm sorry, but it is glorious. I had this on my eyes, I feel like, in another video. I feel like it's... It was in a video, my, um, yes, I did. There's a video, either it's coming or it's already come out, but I did wear this palette. And it is just so stunningly beautiful. It is beautimous. Don't be looking at my kitchen, I see you. It is beautimous. <laughs> it is glorious, and I just absolutely adore it. I just feel like all those shades, I'm just gonna like dig into AC 16, 15, 14, and we're gonna do 13 on the four finger. So like this is, ah oh gosh, and they're just so pretty. And then on deep skin, y'all, like look, look at, look at the like fun things that are happening. Oh my God, I feel so pretty. Let me just like go in with this one a little bit more cause you didn't really get to see that one, but like, ah oh gosh, I just adore this. It's such a fun palette. I do have uh, Codan, Codan, I, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it in whatever way it's pronounced, but I do, I should be having that come forward. But I got this, I decided to get this and also it's cousin or sister or brother, however they are related, which y'all, let me just tell you, the Plain Jane palette, I like, I couldn't find it for some reason, but I think it's because in my mind it looked different than it actually looks. So I'm like marching around my apartment trying to find it. And then of course, because of who I am as a person, I literally sat there and was like, I know it. Somebody came in here and stole it. Like who comes into my apartment, sees all of my makeup balance, takes just that one. Uh, a makeup lover, I guess, but that was like, that would be really specific. Anyhow, next in the Dragon Horde, we're gonna talk about Ninhydrin, which another, gosh, just stunning. I know a lot of people don't necessarily love these, the mattes. Uh, they're okay for me. Like, I don't hate them though, because I sometimes I like them to like kind of anchor the, the all the shimmer that I got going, because I get like shimmer happy. So I am going to just pull AC one, two, three, or well, ACI, ACI, Two, three, sorry, um, ACI 22, ACI 18, and ACI 20 from here. I don't know why I did it this way, but it's my opposite hand. So like y'all, if it wants to focus, there we go. These are just so pretty and I like really love Adept's formula. I don't know, you know, I hope that they continue doing eyeshadows because my gosh, they're so pretty and so soft. It's like, look at this y'all. Look at the glory. It's like a multi-chrome heaven. Like I'm just living in this beautiful heaven. <laughs> Speaking of which, let me get my little towel and my little squirty squirt so I can clean my hands in between things because that doesn't even make any sense for me to not do this. 
All right, so next up, I actually purchased both of these, or actually I purchased three palettes from Lois Cosmetics. Let me grab this other one. I just recently rearranged all of my palettes into high order because that's, I couldn't, like it was bothering me. They're literally right here and I'm not gonna show them to you because it makes me uncomfortable. So moving forward, I have uh, the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld, which is a gorgeous palette. I had so much fun playing with it. It's just such a like grungy, fun palette. Uh, and the shimmers are quite lovely. It's like, it is so fun. And it's a, one of the few large palettes that I do enjoy. I'm not gonna lie, I will say that I just truly enjoy, I find that I will, I'm more likely to purchase a larger palette from an indie brand than I am from a known brand. And I feel like that's because there's a lot less like wasted colors in here. Although I do feel like there's like maybe two or three shades that didn't have to be in this palette, but overall I do enjoy it and I'm glad I picked this up. I was just like, I was going for my birthday and I just wanted to show you all the shimmers. This is um, Orpheus and Enchanted. They're so freaking pretty. I just, I live for them. Like look, Look at, ah, oh gosh. Look at that shine and that glow. Like, look at what we're doing with ourselves today. And their shipping was really fast, you know, for the, like, they're not in the country and the shipping's really fast. I'll quickly show you Rose Metal, what that looks like. This is in a bops and flops, I believe, but we're here today showing off the Dragon Horde, so that's what we're gonna do. So this is Rose Metal, and I just like this because, you know, I'm gonna have to, like, go and work and pretend to be respectable for five seconds while I'm there. And so, like, while I'm there, you know, I guess. And so and then the other one is gone Rogue, which I love. It's a fun rainbow palette. It does have what is one pressed glitter in here, but I'm not, I don't mind pressed glitters. I know a lot of people don't love them to each their own. I like pressed glitter. I don't care. I like it because I like to put glitter all over my face because I am a monster. You're crazy. Please note that I am currently on an organizational journey and that being the case, I will be putting things away in between as I pull stuff out because that's... So anyway, El Barrio. I, ha I got the El Barrio palette from Terra Moons. This is just, ugh. If you haven't seen it, I think I, I'm pretty positive that I did a reel with this and it was like intense. It was intense because I am, um, I'm magic. So I did that and it was just kind of, uh, I really like this palette. I was surprised. I almost didn't pick it up. And I think what I really like too is you can obviously, you can take out all of the colors in here or a few or whatever you want to exchange. And I have Terra Moon Shad Shadows, which speaking of Terra Moon Shadows, let's go ahead and go over into that part. Oop, that's too tall. On a side note, I truly want y'all to just like, Congratulate me because I descaled my coffee maker today and I feel super adult. Um, so, thank you. Yes, I did it. So anyways, here we are. These are like my favorite, by the way. I love these palettes. Uh, I pick these up, I listen, I get them from Amazon. It is what it is. But these are um, empty magnetic palettes and I really like them because they're like just a good size. They have a big mirror in them. So I picked these up as well. And then obviously like this is so shifty and pretty and mermaidy and scaly. So what I did is of course I put my Terra Moon shadows in here. So like the first three rows are <laughs> my birthday haul. <laughs> The first three rows of my birthday haul, the bottom row I have had. I just absolutely dig like my Terra Moon shadows. They're so fun to layer. And if you want me to do some videos where I kind of like show you how I layer my multi-chromes, then we can do that. Uh, you know, I'll do it anyway because on this channel, I'm gonna be doing whatever the fuck I want whenever the fuck I want to. Why not? But I wanted to show y'all like, oh my God, look at this. Look at that. Now you're looking at it you're like, it's pinky, pinky, pinky. 
it is this like more like see in camera it comes across gold like it comes across pink but in person in person it looks gold and it has like a green shift to it so it's like this pinky gold green shift and it's just and like look at that next to like look at it ah, y'all I'm sorry, I'm getting too excited over my Dragon Horde, but like we're playing Dragon Horde today and if you didn't come to play the game, then I suggest you exit the video now because that's all we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be Dragon Hoarding. A lot of this I got for my birthday. Uh, so I, cause I start shopping for my birthday in March <laughs> and it doesn't stop until like mid to late May is usually when it stops just because of, you know, I wanna enjoy myself. It's kind of the one little thing that I do for my birthday. Going forward, I will not be celebrating my birthday publicly, FYI, but I will continue to do dragon hordes. All right, so then the next dragon horde I want to show you are my Davina shadows. Now you, oh my gosh, look at the glory. I think that like the majority of the bottom row I think I may have already had, and then I just, I picked up more. So like, uh, just shiny pretties. Looking back at me. So there's so many pretty ones in here and I layer these as well. Like it's just super fun because I can literally like the and I think one of the things that I, some people might find intimidating about multering, multi, layering multichromes, there's the word. I think one of the things that people may find about layering their multichromes is that because they shift, they can never be assured like which shade that they're doing or what whatnot. And I find it really easy. Like this is, we're going to get into this because I layered them here, but I love this. Oh my gosh. There's just so many pretty, like some of them are chunky, some some of them are smoother. Like I just love Davina's formula. These are both like kind of pinky, but this one's more bronzy. Like, ah, I love, love, love this. It's just like, I'm gonna have glitter hands, okay? And then it's like green and bronze, like green and orange on mine, but like, and then on your side, it comes across pinky there. So it's like, I have to kind of come like, eh, meh. one day I'll get the filming right for this. I'm just not doing it today because I was trying to save these so that I could have the filming perfect and do all this. But I just really want to share this with y'all so you get to see it. And then I could also put it away because <laughs> I'm saving it for like ever and ever just trying like, trying to film with it and I'm just not good at it. A lot of this stuff you are going to start seeing in um, various makeup and music videos and you will also be seeing them in uh, some other, other media related videos. So it's gonna be fun. All right, so speaking of Dragon Horde, <laughs> I got sucked in by those BH Cosmetics palettes and I got Optimistic AF. I just love this. I love the con, like, I love the whole concept. I love these cute little nine pans. So I got Optimistic AF. That's Uno. Para dos. Uh, let that shit go. And I like that they're grown up. You know what? I like that they didn't put an asterisk. Like there was something about them like not putting the asterisk that really did it for me. Like look at me, like I'd be getting ready being like, let that shit go. I could be sending people messages. You know what I mean? That they needed that day. Um, <laughs> I also got do not disturb, bloop. Mm, excuse me. Don't disturb, darling. All right, <laughs> and then let me show it to you. I don't know if I showed it to you. Like this is the inside. I haven't like pulled the plastic off. There's a reason I haven't though. So it's, that way I know which ones I have and haven't filmed with because that's, I, I have to do it that way otherwise. So sorry, you can't see it without the plastic. And looking like a snack because I am. Thank you, thank you for noticing, appreciate it. All right, so that's this one. Mm. Uh-huh. And then this is the color story inside. I just love these like super cute, succinct color stories. There's not like a whole, I, I don't feel like there's a lot of wasted shades and it just looks like it's fun. It's fun, it's a good time. And I wanna have more fun with makeup and less dramatic outbursts included in my Dragon Haul. Some of this is also PR. Um, I'm gonna talk about uh, Midas, who I got Genesis, y'all. Mm. This was the collaboration with Drench Cosmetics. Oh, if you have not picked this up, like this is a really good palette to have. It's so pretty and it's mo mostly unmatched. And I feel like I have, the, it's, where, where is its, where is its cousin? 
I swear I just had its cousin and oh, because it's right here. Its cousin is right here. Listen, dragon hordes are so difficult to keep a hold of and attract uh, and, and track of. So here is ugh, my dragon horde. I don't know why I put it back in the packaging. I think because I was like, it's just so damn pretty. So here was the thing. I put it back in. I've done a look with it so far that's on my Instagram, but it's like that. You know what I mean? that that's what i'm talking about but it's such a pretty palette and i cannot wait to play with it again um so this is going to be making another appearance in my liz eye it's such a beautiful palette and i'm so happy that i was able to like put up a look for it pretty quickly i like being able to do that so that's going to be palette on my list of like hey get that done please hold while i put things in order because looking at it not in order is giving me stress in non-eyeshadow things, some of the things I added to my collection since then have been the Lancome Taint Idol, um, Taint Idol, I don't care. The Lancome Taint, <laughs> Taint Dolly. I have, I have that. I also have added Marc Jacobs' e Extra Shot, the Caffeine Boy, if you don't stop. Do you hear him? Bo, stop it. Anyway. <clears throat> I've also added the Lancome Tante Adole and then the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot. We're not making fun of my French. Thank you very much. They should have just named it something else. I know that they shouldn't have, and I know that's very American bullshit, but I hate trying to pronounce things because my mouth does things weird, and then I look like a moron. Moving on. <laughs> and then the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot. I got both of these. I actually really like the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot, and I like the Lancome, you know, T-I. T-I-U. T-I-U-W. There we go. That's its new name now. Uh, I like that as well. It's quite nice. And another thing I did pick up, and I feel like I got this during the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty. That was a long time ago. We're not going to talk about it. Anyway, I did get the uh, Mac Fix Plus. Y'all weren't lying about this shit. Like... This is one of those few things that I've picked up. I got mine in coconut, obviously. But this is one of those few things I picked up where everybody was always talking about Mac Fix Plus, Mac Fix Plus, Mac Fix Plus. And that's the one wreck. I will take that wreck. I will, I will take that wreck and run with it. I'm happy about that. Like, I'm like, okay, all right, y'all got me. Y'all got me. All right, I see it. All right, so next up in more complexion products, uh, a friend of mine, Alex, also sent me the Ciate Dewy Skin, which I am wearing today. And I, you know, at first I didn't like it, but I've kind of figured out some, some fun things with it. And I... <sighs> I like it. It's kind of nice. Plus, I've, also, I've, I've been changing up how I am doing my base recently just due to it being hot as shit. So if you want, a, you'll probably get a video on it anyway. Welcome. So anyhow, uh, so that's the Ciate that I've added. Um, I've added a lot of blush to my collection. And listen, it's, it's, it's become an obsession. All right. So... Let us first get started <laughs> with one realm of this. I have so much hair today. I hope you don't mind. You don't. It's fine. So let's see. In the realm of blush, I added, I think there's this. This is Love Struck from J-Cat Beauty, which I actually really like this blush. It has like a, like a glow to it, a sheen, which I enjoy. It's a glowy blush. Then I also added the CoverGirl True Blend So Flush, which, oh, this is just, this is <laughs> Like I know everybody hates the word pigment in the beauty world, but like this really is a pigmented ass blush. If you want to show the world how bright and colorful you can be, then pick those up. I also got the Moira Beauty or Moira, Moira Cosmetics um, uh, ombre blusher. This is an orange blossom. Fucking love it. It's just glorious. I have another one from JCat Beauty that I can't currently find, but I got one there and I loved it. I, a friend of mine sent me this flower uh, beauty flower pot. Oh, another glowy blush. And obviously I'm, you know, I, my monster is not complete without me having picked up the Pat McGrath blushes. So the PMG um, Divine Blushes, Blush Without Caution, and it's like, <laughs> fabulous flirtations and exquisite sed seductions may result with prolonged use. I hope not. All right, so anyway. <laughs> 
I absolutely love these. Here's the thing that I'm gonna say about these blushers. I, my personal opinion on them is that if, First of all, I like powder blush. I know everybody doesn't like powder blush. I like it. I think that if you are somebody who has pigmented skin, you're gonna really like these. I mean, yes, it's expensive, and if you don't wanna spend this kind of money, I just showed you some inexpensive options. But I think that if you wanna have like a nice bougie moment, although one of these I have difficulty opening because I, I don't know, my, my fingers don't like it. Um, and I'll go ahead and tell you the names of them in just a second, but these are very, very pigmented and they're just so easy to work with on your deep skin. And it's all I've ever wanted in life. Just like blushes for my deep skin to make me look flushed or like extra as fuck or like medium, like whatever it is I'm looking for. So I got mine in Paradise Venus was the first one I showed you. Electric Bloom was the second and Love Struck was the last. I really like these. I love the packaging. I don't mind that like my grubby fingers are showing up on the them. Like, I don't care that I look like the nasty kid who's like eating. <laughs> And like I don't care that I look like the kid who's in the corner eating all the candy bars or the chicken skin whichever one it is I'm Cartman leave me alone and yeah so I just really like those and then finally I did end up picking up a blush from Mented and I like this one as well and it's like Audrey don't you have blushes that are just like listen what we're not gonna do <sighs> Let me live my best blushy life, okay? I love, all blushes are my blushes and I love them. And that is why this is a dragon horde. We're not here to judge, we're here to look at the horde. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Next up in the Dragon Horde, this was due to the lovely patrons and a Patreon hangout, uh, Patreon member hangout, where we went drunk shopping on Ulta. And I picked up the BH Cosmetics 80s dance remix. And I'm actually really happy that I picked this up. Such a fun, like y'all know, y'all, we know what world I live in. It's a bright and colorful, I'm there. Occasionally I have a neutral palette like the Lois Cosmetics one, but most of the time it's gonna be a bright, fantastic affair. That's who I am, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Would you, could you imagine me just like looking basic? Oh wait, you don't have to imagine me because it actually already exists somewhere on this channel. So. <laughs> So anyhow, I am really happy I picked this up. It gave so much more than I thought it was gonna give, especially the yellow. That's what really kind of knocked my little socks off. I was like, oh, okay, bitch. I didn't realize you came to like not play. Like it really, this palette really came and said, hey, I'm your boss. And hey, I'm putting this one away. Thank you. Don't mind me. Ah, when your ADHD starts crossing over into like a little bit of being <laughs> obsessed with keeping everything organized in case you mess it up. Oh my God. Speaking of palettes, y'all, I put up a, I feel like I put up a, a, a a video or something with this, with the sugar drizzle or, or pictures, I'm not sure. I also could have put up, I don't know, I don't know what I put up, but I picked up this sugar drizzle palette. Ugh. This is so pretty. Now listen, I know that there is like just, it's such a soft formula. It's very soft formula. I have on Sugar Mama, Sugar Sugar. I don't have them on, I'm like gra grabbing them. Sugar Crush. Like these are just like three of the shades. It's so pretty and I'm having such a nice time with it. And I like shiny pretty. So like I ended up just like enjoying myself. I don't know why. I don't know how to press down whenever I like, do this, but they're the three on the bottom. Like, I listen, we're just gonna keep having fun. I'm just gonna keep getting shimmery, shiny things, and that's the world we're gonna live in. Like, I don't even wanna clean this off because my hand's so fucking pretty, so let's move on. Uh, but I really love this palette, and I'm looking forward to playing with it some more. Now y'all know the secret why people like play with something and then you don't you think you don't see it again. You do. You see them a lot of times in Get Ready With Me's and whatnot. You just don't know it. All right, so next up, if we're going to talk about the dragon horns. So for my birthday, uh, I also picked up, sorry, complexion products. I also picked up the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop and I also got that concealer. I like both. I like the Bright Fix, that's it. I like both of these so much. I'm going to be having such a good summer with these items. Like just being able to have beautiful glowy skin. Ooh, you know what? That Ciate's looking. Okay, Ciate, you got me, you got me. This is why when, when y'all send me <laughs> makeup, <laughs> 
I love it, but I'm like, oh shit. Like brands I'd stop checking for, you got me caught up, all right? You got me caught up now. But I really like my Fenty Beauty, and I feel like what we're probably going to have to do after I'm done with this small dragon horde video is I'm gonna slowly start filming videos of like, just my collection. I'm not gonna be uh, decluttering anything. I like, I might find things that I don't want as I go along, but I, I think I might just start filming collection videos and showing you all the shit that I have because it seems like I should do that. Um, I also went a little bit ham with Marc Jacob. Uh, listen, they were having a sale and it was 50% off everything. So I absolutely love the Marc Jacobs Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. I, this is like my favorite primer of all time, I feel like right now, and I have it on right now. Like this is one of my favorite primers ever, ever. And I was just like, I don't want to run out. <laughs> Don't like listen and I wanted to not because here's the thing whenever I have Anytime I have the money to buy something that I wanted to purchase then I go ahead and do that then Even if it's just like a duplicate and I know that there are people like Audra that's ridiculous But it's because I know that whenever I run out I will not have the money for the thing at that time So I just have it and I put it aside and then as soon as I run out I'm good I picked up some more of the lipsticks because I absolutely adore them I like I like the packaging obvi but like the the lip colors are just, I did this thing because I was looking for, because of Nima Tang, I got on this, uh, this tip where I was like, I want more like nude lip and I, I'm here for it. So that is what we're going to be, we're going to be having more nude lips. I picked up, I think three of these, um, and they all have that kind of color in common. I feel like color in common. Sorry about that. So I got this one as well. And I'll tell you the names of the shades in just a second. This one was actually, this one is sugar and spice. The one I just showed you a little bit ago was shakedown. And then finally we have no angels. So all of these are just really beautiful nude shades and for my skin tone. And I end up looking like a badass bitch, especially when I put on the right lip liner, like don't even talk to me. Don't breathe in my direction because at that moment I am better than you. Uh, <laughs> And then next up, I got more eyeliners from them. I got um, this, which I, I'm wearing in a uh, picture on Instagram. I do believe it's their, their cream gel, their gel liners, because they're like thick and they come in this little, like it's almost like a little pot liner, but like in a tube, I guess. It's a tube liner. Stop, leave me alone. Okay, and then it has like a, cool little wand and you can draw however the hell I did I even draw this right yes did I we're gonna try to show it to you but this one I got I got one in pink because I was like why didn't I get the pink so I ended up getting back to the fuchsia I got a few other shades I got a few and then I finally got to try the um gel cream liners and I like gel no, the gel eye crayon. I finally got to try these. They're boss. I got this one, um, and I wanted. I got one in blacker. Obviously, I just got black because I was afraid. Because I wanted to. I got it in black, so I was very happy. I don't need to show you the black. That was ridiculous. But I got it in black. Very happy that I picked up these items because I was just like, I like elevating my eyeliner game, and I knew that the Marc Jacobs formula worked on me. Like the highliners, I knew worked on me and stay stay for me and i was like you know what? i may as well pick them up so that i will be able to do you know fantastic fantabulous looks moving forward uh keeping with <laughs> The Dragon Horde Glaminatrix. I picked these up for my birthday. They are very pretty. I just got a few of the shades. I got two, four, six, eight, nine shades. And I'm really happy with that. Like, look at this orange. Look at this orange. This orange. It's so pretty. Like, came from Australia. I didn't have any issues with my shipping. Everything arrived perfectly well. And I'm happy for it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I like that. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm gonna say that you're seeing everything because I can't tell right now, but it's really, really pretty. Uh, Shop Miss A sent me several items and that I haven't used yet, but I'm going to. I did use this um, highlighter a little bit. It's in Gilded and I like it. Uh, it's not my favorite formula. I do like it though, but it's not, it'll be all right. We'll see. I'm gonna try it one more time and see if I can, if I can make it, you know, be a friend, but it's a little 
uh, I picked it out and I, I probably picked the wrong shade. I was too excited. Then I had like two velour eyeshadows. Well, a velour eyeshadow and a baked eyeshadow. The velour, I just, I got this one so that I can contour my eye, y'all. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I actually got it because I like being able to have um, shades like this. And I just really wanted to try, like sometimes, um, my favorite thing about these is when I'm having Oh, let me just go around and get that top layer off. When I'm having one of those days where I just don't really want to put on eyeshadow per se, but I want it to, my, my eyelid to not look like wrinkly, these are like nice kind of skin tone shades. And that, since they were allowing me to try it, like you can see there, like that's a nice thing to put on and throw a little liner on top of it. So I just have less of the like wrinkle going on there. All right, I am almost done with this this birthday dragon haul, I feel like. It's it's pretty intense. Uh, next up, I also got the Lancome La Base Pro. I did pick this up. I don't know that I like this that much, but I'm gonna keep trying it. Like, it's all right. It's all right. But so many people talked about it and I thought it was like gonna be so great and then I got it and I was like, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, the other thing I picked up was obviously the Mira Beauty Greed palette i just love it so freaking much the color story is like everything just a beautiful basically straight green palette which is all i've ever wanted in life but it's so beautiful the brand is a very good inclusive caring brand i'm about that life yes bitch yes bring it all the way on and i feel like it's a significant step up from their last palette so or their last collection excuse me I'm over here just trying to arrange that. <laughs> Please hold, let me finish arranging. Also part of the hoard are like that palette that I just showed you, that one, that one is another empty palette. I picked up I think three magnetic palettes from Tarte for my birthday, including this one. And y'all, I have not even shown you these, but these four highlighters right here are from Bitter Lace Beauty. I don't feel like I have. I feel like I meant to show them to you. I don't know what happened. I get weird whenever I do um, videos about like stuff that I own. So like it makes me feel uncomfortable and I think sometimes I scrap them. And then also I have the Kristen Lee Cosmetics one here. So I just need like two more and like I have a little flower baby. But I, listen, this Kristen Lee Cosmetics one is no fucking joke, man. I love it. I love it. Like look at that. Look at her. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get we're going to get crazy, okay? We're going to get we're going to get Friday. Got to get a little bit. Okay. We're going to put it there and right here cuz I just don't want to be like uh, 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 on one side and we're just going to do this. Like why not? Oh my god. My bird. <laughs> now let's go like this. <laughs> let's go like this. Let's go like this. Cover me in multi -crumbs. Okay, so now we're just gonna be like a little, a little gleaming ass bitch. I don't know if it's showing up for you. Oh, oh, but oh my God, it's so pretty. Like this is exactly, it's like highlighter, like highlighters like these are why I just don't bother buying body glow. Like I can just put this shit on and be a bad bitch. What? Okay, yes, thank you. This actually just like sits here because it's so funky shape and that's okay, that's okay, I'm not mad at it. I'm not gonna get angry today, tomorrow, or the day after. Next up in the Dragon Horde, I don't think that's it. Oh, this is, I did get one, oh, I did get a couple more things. Somebody sent me these Lethal Cosmetics blushes for my birthday. I love them. I also have Kristen Lee Cosmetics sent over just like an extra like little highlighter and this this is them. Um, let me see what this looks like because I hadn't even gotten to play with it yet because Dragon Horde. So let me just like, oh, this is a powdery pink, like pretty, oh my gosh. Okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna use that. I have I have plans for you, babes. <sighs> All right, we are almost to the end. Um, I also did pick up, I finally did pick up the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Satin Finish. I like it. I have it on now. I have it on now, I picked it up, I like it, I'm like, okay. Despite the fact that they've been um, 
assholes, I <laughs> like that concealer and I'll probably continue to purchase it because honestly it's fairly inexpensive and being able to pick up an inexpensive concealer repeatedly is important to me. So yeah, that's gonna happen. Next up we have the, <laughs> another one of my Tarte palettes, which um, and we're gonna talk about the chaos inside. The chaos inside is what is on my eyes right now. And it's like this. I, I really, if I could afford to get like every single, every single one of Cleona's shadows, I would, okay? I would get every single one. On my eyes today is, I believe, this shade here. Um, and I think this shade and this shade, I think it's like a little, little, like this line. I feel like there's a line, but like, that's what I did. I layered my multi-chromes. And it's so nice. Like it's a good frippin' frappin' time and I'm just very excited. I also picked up a couple of sponges, obviously, and I, um, I, you know, I don't think anybody cares about like what sponges I picked up, but I did pick up some sponges. And finalmente, there's something else. There was like one other, oh yes. I picked up lip liners from Juvia's Place, which I think I talked to y'all about those. Um, and I don't have them on me right now, but I did pick those up, but I felt like I already showed those to you. And I picked up the Ordinary Concealer. I don't know how I feel about this yet. It's the same way I kind of like feel weird about their, um, their foundation. So I'm gonna have to like do a second chance video of stuff where I'm like, I don't really know how I feel about this. And I also picked up the uh, Kylie Jenner concealer. It's not bad, I don't dislike it. I don't love it. It's not like the best concealer I've ever come across, but it's also not the worst thing I've ever come across. It's also not gonna make me buy anything else from the brand unless it's on sale. Like that's how I picked this up because it was $5. Like I will buy a lot of things that are $5, y'all. I, I don't have shame in that. If it, the shit I buy, just because they're like, oh, it's only $3. I'm like, only $3? <laughs> well, of course I need this pickle. So anyway, I think that is the majority of my Dragon Haul. I think what I'm just going to go ahead and do moving forward, um, we're going to just start doing a collection video. And I feel like for... <laughs> For eyeshadow palettes, that might be like a two-parter or a one-parter if I try to go through it fast. I don't know, just let me know if you don't mind sitting through a really long video of me going through all of my, all, like each part of my collection, like my foundation and my primers and my concealers and all of that shit. We're gonna do it. All right, that's it, y'all. That is the video. All right, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming through my weird dragon horde collection <laughs> i will be doing more collection videos because now i'm kind of i always forget how much fun it actually is until i'm doing it i get so nervous and stressed and then i'm like oh wait this is fun so i'll definitely be trying to like keep on top of that i'm gonna write it down in my my notebook so that i remember and that's it uh if you enjoyed this video please do me a favor give it a big thumbs up so then that way the algorithm goddess continues to push me downward and i can keep doing exactly what i want to do so until next time you know it costs zero zero dollars to be kind it is so good for your soul because if you don't take care of yours i'm sure as hell coming for it until next time xoxo got the girl think i need hey help okay come as you are okay so these girls come to the prom and let's put them up. Oh, there you go, you fucking naughty girl. So naughty in this house, ladies. Oh. <laughs> uh, nope, still too tall. Let's put it here. Um, but then we need to move these two here. I'm a single lady, I'm a single lady, I'm a single lady. Now put your hands up for the big if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Don't be mad at what you see that he on it. Up in the club, doing my own little thing.